Hey, Striker here. You guys just let me know that the YouTuber's Life 2 official gameplay trailer just released, so we're going to take a look at that and react to it. And, uh, well, actually, that's all a lie. You guys didn't let me know about the new trailer coming out because I normally don't do these, but that's what everybody says when they do these react videos, right? It's like, you guys just let me know this video was out, so I need to react to it. So, yeah, it's all a facade. None of this is real, but I am going to react to this video. Oh, and before we start the video, don't forget, if you're looking for updates on new projects I'm working on or videos coming soon, be sure to go to my YouTube channel and check the community tab in order to find out those updates. So, yeah, click on that, and this is where you'll find me do some behind-the-scenes stuff for a video that I might have just put out videos I'm working on currently, long-term projects I've got for the site, long-term goals that I'm trying to achieve. So yeah, just regular update talk. That's where you'll find it right here. So let's get back to that video. YouTuber's Life 2. It's coming out this year. All right. So it's going to give us some new, new stuff. Oh, okay. <laughs> on the beach dancing? What? Oh... Yeah, the visuals are definitely, the avatar is more detailed, a little bit more expressive. We'll be back. Okay, yeah, obviously live streaming, that would be a thing now. You know, you, you realize that the other YouTuber's Life game, you know, it came out a couple of years. Because, you know, it, it, it came out on Steam and then it was a, a year or even two before the consoles got a version. I played the Xbox One version. And, uh, you know, it's, it, you start, you know, living with your mom and you got to get good grades and, and obviously, uh, you know, uh, dad is not around because he is either drunk in prison or he's dead. So it's just mom. And, uh, you know, then eventually you move out to an apartment and you have an annoying, uh, roommate, but that is, by, that is by design because eventually it wants to drive you into the idea of having your own place because your roommate will literally just plop down on your couch and start playing your games. Then they'll start to use your computer and it's annoying as fuck. And yes, I'm sorry, I'm gonna be swearing during this thing, but. Okay, so there's there's more options. Yes, you can wear headphones all day long. You could be one of those jackasses. Uh, you, what? Isn't, wasn't this a dude? I thought he picked a dude. You can wear a bra? Maybe it was a female. Does that mean you could go around in your underwear? I just saw like a clamshell bra. I guess it doesn't matter what you pick for your gender. But I mean that you would expect that. Okay. Is this a... Uh... This isn't the PC version. This is actually... Okay, this must be ready for consoles, I guess. I mean, obviously, they're using a controller. Once you get an upstairs that you can decorate. Holy shit. You can do recordings with you sitting in purple antique chairs. Oh, holy shit. You got... Oh, we're going to have to come back to this later. An arcade machine up there and a pinball machine. Oh, you can... Could you customize furniture before? I don't think you could. I don't remember. You basically just had a preset, you know, like, this is your room. This is your apartment. You could upgrade your your microphone and your headphones and your computer setup. Those, I, you know, those icons would change. But you can actually move the furniture around. And there's, there's some different... Oh, you got rugs, too? Okay. You can change the color. Oh, you can put rugs underneath. It looks like you could put, like, furniture, like, halfway through. Holy fuck, you can go outside. You can rent a fucking scooter and drive around town. You can go to the game store and hit on the gamer check. Holy shit, I am sold. Pleased to meet you, Will. I, I, I think he's... Is he a dude? You were just looking at bras. Contacts, profile name, status, relationship. You can fuck anybody you want in this game. Oh my god. It is confirmed. Well, I mean, you can have a relationship. Can I have a kid? 
I want to marry the girl at the game store and have a kid and it will continue on with my rage quit videos. The PlayStation 5, yeah, it looks like, okay, there's your room. Holy shit, that's a lot of stuff. Okay, so you sit down and make videos. Yeah, that's what it was in the in the other game. Uh, tutorial, okay, yeah, you would pick a different, t oh, okay. To begin with, you make the channel greeting. Okay, so you select things. This is kind of what you did before, make a victory dance. You realize the image, I, it's going by really fast. Your character is poisoned and laying on the ground dead. You kill yourself? You ask F for respects. Okay, so the memes are strong with this one. You know, someone is paying attention. Your neighbor starts making noises, so you make a headshot. Isn't that what Dr. Disrespect, like, actually did? Uh, no, he probably had his own house, right? AI enemies are really hard. You swear revenge. So there's like little details in here. There's there's more detail than before. You know these guys kind of understand the uh, the YouTuber slash life. Or they probably asked a lot of people too. Yeah, you, yeah, you would get you'd get like certain points and stuff. You'd rank up things. Oh, is that a fucking slushy machine? Oh my god, we gotta check that out later. You get, you got a phone, man. You go really fast. You have a drone? What the hell? Why, why do I need a Japanese drone running around with antifreeze? What? Live streaming function? Oh, okay. Night vision. Nice. I can videotape myself having sex with the the game store uh, girl and then stream it live. <laughs> Video editing. Okay, this is this is what we kind of saw before. You know, yeah, you'd have the uh, you'd have a clip, and it would have these little tags on the side of it that would let you uh, be able to link them to other. And like certain ones couldn't link with others. Yeah, like if there's a a little thing in the top of the video, like your next video had a, had to have that same little thing in the top so that it could connect to it. You know, so it's yeah, you just didn't hit a button and automatically edit a video. Or, uh, or really do anything. You know, you had to... There was a little bit of, uh, you know, going through a mini game. Oh, you can upgrade your stuff with your money? It's not dollars. It's actually coins, right? New tube. Okay. Your ranking is 50 out of 100. So is that your level? Are you level 50? It says you have 4,000 subscribers, but then up in the corner it says you have a million. PlayCon. Okay, so this is a live event. Oh, it's got a mini game. Yeah, you would actually you you could do live events before. You would just go there and you would try to heart as many people as you possibly could because that was an achievement. You got to push certain buttons at the same time. Okay, so like you got to really work at it. I mean that makes sense, right? You know, you just don't show up to a live event and then just hit a button and auto complete it. You know, you got to do a little bit of work. What? Posing? R really? You can you can use your little robot buddy to record you working out and then live stream it. G G it's just like the real thing. You you can take photos of yourself on the beach in poses. That's what that other thing yeah, we saw that before. You can dance, pose. Everyone's like, what the hell are you doing? It's like, oh, I'm doing it for my, my YouTube channel. You're what? Get the fuck out of here, you loser. Wish list it now. Well, except on PlayStation 4 where they don't have a wish list. It would be nice so that I could mark things, you know, to buy later. God damn it. But uh, Xbox, Switch, and Steam. So, yeah, that looks... Uh, let's, let's scrub back... Um, because every, everybody does this, right? Because it, it's a trailer, right? It goes by pretty quick. But yeah, I played the other game. I got I got to the apartment phase. You know, your your roommate would uh would just let's skip all the character creation stuff. Okay, so we're looking at the room. I think there's a little bit closer. Okay, so press start to play. There's an arcade machine. I don't know if you can actually play that. A slurping machine in your room next to your gaming PC. Do you know how practical that actually is? It is It is not. It is not practical whatsoever. A full-size machine. Those machines are usually the professional machines. They're like, 
they're two grand. That that's actually bigger than those. You know, they're they're two to three grand. A slurping machine. You, you gotta clean that thing at the end of the day. Like, are you gonna do that? You yourself? Mr. You know, popular YouTuber, how many slushies are you actually going to fucking have throughout the day to justify having that machine on all day? I mean, three, maybe. I mean, okay, we, I gotta move on. I'm that. That's my my slushy hate. Not not my hate for slushies. I want that myself, but I'm sorry. I'm I'm I, I'm talking about slushy too much, right? So we, we, we see here that, yeah, you have like a an editing bay, it looks like, where you have triple monitors, you have a big, massive, you've got several consoles, but you have one console in the middle that's got like four radial dials. That's a pretty, you know, that's pretty hardcore. And then you got all your gameplay stuff down here and the, by the curved monitor. Furniture, yeah, furniture was... I don't remember editing furniture before. I don't think you could move anything. So this is this is brand new. That must be a must be a new game engine. Oh my god, running around town. That is you couldn't leave your apartment before. Okay, so this is the phone. So you got a costume. So you can change your wardrobe through your phone. Well, that's kind of cool. I wonder if you can change can you change your appearance? It's totally valid, you know, especially in today's world. It's like, what if you want to change your appearance? What if you're tired, you know, by the way your character looks, you know? What if you want to, like, add a scar or something? Like, you know, I mean, just, it's just, you know, natural. You know, you, you move out of your, your mom's house. You want to strike it out on your own. And, like, maybe I want to, you know, now be a chick, a really hot uh, Asian chick that, you know, has more access to all the different types of clothing that's, you know, way more accessible and cute, you know, and then then maybe in my older age, you know, like one, once I hit, you know, 40 or, or 50, I'm like, okay, I'll go back to being a dude, you know, it's like, yeah, I, I uh, you know, no, I'm not married, I don't have any kids, but, you know, I got to have a lot of hot lesbian sex, you know, in my 20s and yeah. 30s, so, like, you know, that's that that's good. Like, I can, you know, that works for me, and I, I don't need to have kids. I, I don't need to use my dick anymore, you know, like, whatever. But, yeah, I probably would get it when it would go on the first sale, you know, the first 20% off sale. I probably would end up picking this up, but yeah, you know, if there's if there's a lot of content, uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't mind actually getting this. Having a Slurpee machine in your room is fucking dope. I mean, you just it's a total waste of your time and energy and electricity to have a full size Slurpee machine constantly running. But yeah, I'd be the kind of person to if I was making this kind of money to have this kind of setup, arcade game, pinball game. And a slurping machine right next to my, you know, I, I would live stream and then call the guy to come over to service my machine. <laughs> yeah, I said that. But I mean, I would have him come over, you know, and, and swap out the stuff while I'm streaming. And like, I'm just going to sit there and do nothing while you, you service my slurping machine, you you little punk bitch. And like, <laughs> that's just, God damn. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. So, yeah, that's the game. It looks interesting. Uh, a lot more detail, a, a little bit more complicated than the other game. Uh, a lot more to it. But, yeah, if I can if I can bang the chick at the uh, at the game shop, then I will I will do that. If I can, you know, pop out a kid and have him uh, do maintenance on my slurping machine and clean it out every day like that would be that'd be amazing. Uh, you know, let me have a kid. Let me have a kid with the girl from the game shop and. Let them service my slurping machine, and uh, that'd be and, and have, let them keep my arcades running. You know, all my uh, my one-up arcades that I get for free because I'm a sellout. I can't wait to sell out. I really can't. It's gonna be so awesome. The, the only bad thing about a game like this, and the reason why I don't pl pay full price for it, is because ultimately the reason why I stopped playing the other game is. You know, it, it, when you are actually on YouTube and you make videos, it's kind of surreal to be playing a video game 
where you are a YouTuber and you're making and editing videos. And then at that point, it, it, you know, you start to realize that, you know, man, instead of playing a video game for a couple of hours where I'm recording game footage and rendering out a video, I probably should just do this in real life and get some actual work done. So yeah, it's, it's kind of hard for an actual YouTuber to recommend a game like this, but I mean, if if you've always wanted to do it, it's uh, it's kind of cool. You know, it shows you that you need to put the more effort you put into stuff, the more views you're going to get. So, yeah, that's kind of why I stopped playing it, because, you know, you eventually you need to get more videos out there for your, your real fans, not your fake ones that are just a number inside of this video game. But, uh, but yeah, this looks interesting. Looks kind of cool. But, uh, hey, uh, thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.